Here is very interesting multiple choice question. Question 8. The product of first two terms of a geometric sequence is 27. And the product of first three terms is also 27. Find the fourth term. Okay, let's try to do it. Let's say if there are four terms in geometric sequence, then they should be like A and then we have a times r and then we have a times r square and then we'll have a times r cube right now they say product of first two terms is 27 that means a times a r equals to 27 right now say that product of first three terms is also 27 three terms means a times a r times a r square is also equals to 27. It means what? It means that a r square should be 1. Correct? If a times a r is 27, that means if a times a r is 27, this is 27, right? a times a r is 27. That means a r square should be 1, right? So we get from here a r square is equals to 1. Okay? Now, from this relation, we can say what A is. Now, we say if A R square equals to 1, then A equals to 1 over R square. Is that okay? Now, we know that A is related to R as 1 over R square. Since A is 1 over R square, we will put this value here. A is 1 over R square, we will put here 1 over R square times, this A is 1 over R square, 1 over R square times r equals to 27. Do you see how? So this was the starting equation. Let's say this equation is 1 for us and we found this relation 2. Now we'll use 2 in 1. So we are putting 2 in 1, right? And we got 1 over r square, 1 over r square for a is and r equals 27. Now here it means 1 over r, right? Cube. This is 4 and 1, we get u equals to 27. Okay. Now if I write, this is cube. If I can write this as some cube, which is 3 cube, right? Then I can compare this, right? So let's go to here. And what I will do now is, I will write this as 1 over r whole cube is equals to, 27 is 3 cube, right? Is that okay? So this means what? This means 1 over r is equals to, 3, right? So 1 over r equals to 3. Now if I know that 1 over r is 3, let me call this equation 3 itself, right? If 1 over r is 3, then a should be 1 over r square, right? 1 over r square, which is 9. So 1 over r is 3 and we have a equals to 1 over r square right which is 3 square right 3 square which is 9 so we get a as 9 now let's try let's put these values and see does it work so we'll put a as 9 so we have a as 9 the first term right and our r is 1 over 3 so if i multiply this by 1 over 3 that means one third of 9 will be 3 right Next term will be 1 third of 3, which is 1, correct? If I multiply 9 and 3, I do get 27, correct? If I multiply 9, 3 and 1, I also get 27, so it works. So what is the fourth term? How am I getting this? That means I am multiplying by 1 over 3. So here it is 1 over 3. So the fourth term is 1 over 3. That's your answer. Did you see how we got the answer? I tried to make this working simple right straight and then got some it is scarcity of space i don't want to move the page up and down that i am going horizontally i hope you understand the approach and that's very interesting it's a thinking problem and a very interesting problem try to do similar questions and get the hang of it thank you